The drive-by shooting we're about to watch right here from these LAPD cops is pretty astoundingly and blatant criminal activity from the police. And what it's going to show you is that even if you're doing nothing and minding your own business, the police will try to abuse you and then they will create a propaganda narrative. The systematic illness that is called police in the United States is famous around the world. Of course, the police forces in pretty much every country aren't that different, but the U.S. does take it to a new level of arrogance and psychopathy, And is that a word? Psychopathy? I'm, I'm not surprised very often, but when I saw what I'm about to show you in today's video, and I thought we need to talk about this, these guys just pulled into their driveway. They're getting out of the car and watch this cop car roll up immediately. Open fire. There's got to be a backstory, right? We don't know the whole story, Gavin. We don't know what led up to it. We don't know what led up to two cops rolling up heavily armed in a vehicle and opening fire with lethal intent on unarmed people. We don't know the whole story. Have you heard that before? Now, it's interesting that if we do the smallest thing, no one cares about the whole story. And that goes back and leads us right in to today's propaganda point. LAPD releases these videos. What they actually do is they release them with a propaganda specialist, and that is this woman. They actually have production value. They go through and they do their best to build a narrative that lets you believe that it was justified. I want you to listen to this, because the first time you hear it, it might throw you off. And you might think, oh, they were chasing bad guys. Foothill Division gang enforcement detail officers were conducting patrol in the area near the 7800 block of Radford Avenue when they saw a known gang member getting out of a vehicle which was parked in the front driveway of a residence. That suspect was later identified as Ramon Mosqueda. They were patrolling, right? The, the gang suppression unit. Now, just to be clear, we all know who the real gang is here, and that gang hates competition, and that gang is LAPD. But this is clever the way they're doing this, because I want you to go back and just listen to this one more time as they introduce this, and then I'm going to come back to it. When they saw a known gang member getting out of a vehicle which was parked in the front driveway of a residence. So when you first listen, it's like, oh, they were after a gang member. Except when you continue in the video, you realize that that was actually a ploy to paint the victim in this case. Now, I'm not here to make a case for whether Ramon is or isn't a gang member, whether he's a good man, a family man, a father. That's not the point of this video, because police and government are supposed to be bound by our right to life, liberty, and property, which is codified in our laws, and most importantly, from a legal perspective, in the Constitution, in this case, of the United States. As the officers approached the driveway to conduct a pedestrian stop on Mosqueda, he raised what appeared to be a firearm, which resulted in an officer-involved shooting. So they're spinning this, they're setting up a mental image in your mind that they were just trying to connect, do a pedestrian stop, that they were pulling someone over, that they were trying to determine a situation with a, with a gang member, right? Following the officer-involved shooting, Mosqueda entered the residential property and fled through the yard of the residence to an unknown location. Fled, fled through the yard? Raised what appeared to be a firearm, which resulted in an officer-involved shooting. The officers established a perimeter and requested the assistance of additional units. Special Weapons and Tactics, also known as SWAT, who responded to the scene to assist in apprehending Mosqueda. Now, you notice there's, there's no discussion of what he was being apprehended for. So what they're doing, what the propaganda agent here does, is she puts this together. He fled through the backyard. Well, you think you might want to flee if psychos were chasing you to your house and shooting you? Like, maybe that would be a good time to leave out the back door. They build this image, right? And 
Now you know, I want you to think about these videos and next time you read a news report, you're gonna see these words because this is how government does press releases. They build a narrative that's full of things like, and then SWAT came and we tried to apprehend the suspect. And what suspect, what, what was he suspected of? Having, having a lighter? Because that's what was actually in his hand. These are keywords that they've learned through much research and development that those keywords will be repeated, that they will affect people psychologically. And of course, they'll be repeated in news stories. So then it goes through all this B-roll, right? As they're trying to cop explain like how they have the all their technology. This of course is not real footage from the incident. In -car cameras have they go through and they show all of these things that can help you think, oh, police are really set up. They're really transparent. That's why we're getting this information, right? This is muted still at this point. There was no audio. And they're, they're circling this as if like this justifies them trying to shoot a dude in his driveway. Each segment of the story, you're given distractions talking about their protocols, their transparency. You're thrown in keywords as they speak of the victim that convert the victim to the aggressor. If any real thing had led up to this, that would be the f headliner in the Propo video. Rolling up, dude on the right here, immediately rolls up and starts shooting. Now imagine if you or I reacted to any situation that could possibly occur and we just rolled up and poof, 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 poof. That's why this video really caught my eye. Even though no one died here, I watched this video and I saw this woman talking and I'm like, ooh, they're getting good, right? Obviously LAPD has a lot of resources that they've taken from you, the people, so that they can fund their syndicate. You got it? Hey, stay right there, stay right there, right, stay right there. I got... All units, officer needs help. 7 8 2 Radford, 7 8 Radford, shots fired. One suspect ran into the backyard wearing a white shirt and a black hat requesting backup area and supervisor. Hey, let me see your hand. Just get away. Get away from the gun. Get away from the gun. Stop. Stop. Just get out of here, man. That's it. That's it. After these people fled their vehicle to try and escape being shot by these crazies in the police car, they're actually like, what the heck are you doing, dude? And these cops have the audacity to act like, oh, stay calm, stay calm. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Just back up. Just back up. Just back up, man. It's all good. portion of this incident was also captured by surveillance video from a nearby residence. Now, this is what I led with, and this is the good one. This is why you always want cameras running whenever you get the chance. Don't wait if you come across an incident with police. This is really important. First of all, you have the right to film. It's a right to document activity in a public place. No one can tell you not to and actually have authority in doing so. They'll just try and intimidate you. So this would be documented as a right protected under the First Amendment, and it's fundamentally just a right to document and try to stop crimes. As a human being, we have the right and arguably the obligation to document things like this, which is why when I'm dealing with police, my camera always just goes on long before they get to me or I get to them. And this camera rolling on the house is actually very telling because conveniently a lot of times when these body cam incidents start, there's no audio. Now, this isn't an accident. These cameras, they say, oh, they, they can record up to a minute in advance, right? They're pre-recording, et cetera, et cetera. It's not an accident that the pre-recordings don't have audio. It's not a limitation of the technology. If the camera can pre-record video, obviously it could pre-record the audio. These companies like Axon that are catering to these criminal syndicates to make revenue from this whole system of crime that they have going on. They're gonna make these exactly to their spec. And the police know that if they mute all the audio in their cameras all the time, you're gonna know that something's up. But if they pretend that it's a technology limitation, oh, well, the cameras pre-record, as soon as you press the button, then it starts recording audio. What it is, is they don't want audio documented of the things they're doing. And oftentimes when these incidents start, they don't have to be accountable for what's said. You see they're parked, there's people in this car. Here's this cop rolling around the corner, 
This dude gets out of the vehicle and the police charge up at full speed, immediately start shooting. Just like this. Now they get out, right? Now it's clear who wanted to cause the incident. These guys aren't actually very afraid. You can tell by their body posture, by their stance. They're telling this girl here, they're telling the chica to stay in the car and she's like trying to flee for her life to get away from these psychopaths. But these guys aren't even hiding behind their car because the body language of the man getting out of the car, the victim who supposedly had a gun was actually not aggressive. He wasn't having a gang standoff with these guys as they would have liked you to believe. These police know that they're not in any serious danger right now. Only people committing a crime right now are these guys right here. There's our criminals. Here's our victims. Officer doesn't need help. Officer needs to be arrested for attempted murder. Now, the police were supposed to say, oh, he had a thing that looked like a gun. There was no language, right? He has this kind of pistol-shaped uh, lighter in his hand. There's no body language or anything related to any aggression towards these officers. He's just wanting to get into his house. Investigators recovered a black metallic butane lighter with a pistol grip, handle, and trigger resembling a semi-automatic handgun at scene and booked it as evidence. On August 2nd, 2022, Mosqueda was located in the city of Los Angeles and arrested for an unrelated robbery. Notice what they closed with. After they instigated violence against three people in a vehicle in their own home, after they opened fire because they determined that there was a gun when in fact, that gun was a lighter. Irrespective of the shape of it, there's nothing illegal about having a lighter. And then when the video closes, your propaganda agent returned. What you're supposed to believe is that they were searching for this person. He was this dangerous, wanted criminal. It was a manhunt, even though they don't say that because of course, what they're putting together here is a fabrication. He was arrested later on three counts of robbery. Now this video happened at the end of July, this person was arrested in August and listen to those details, a non-related account. They weren't out searching for him for anything that happened here. They completely invented here and to try to justify the crimes they committed, now they're trying to tack something on the end that can leave you with the thought of, he's a robber, gangbanger, bad guy. That is just a detail that they pulled together to make sure that they have something that makes it like their violence against people doing nothing was justified because those people might have been trying to steal from you. We don't even need to be citing the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment. Well, maybe we should be because there was no due process. They decided to use violence despite no evidence of a crime being committed, despite not being there to actually carry out an arrest to actually carry out a warrant. Despite not meeting any actual aggression, they invaded the property of another with violence. What you're watching here is a drive-by shooting by the LA PD. They're the gangbangers. These are the violent criminals raging in our streets without check, without balance, without accountability. And the fact that an investigation needs to be done and months need to go by before determination, read before you forget about this so they can sweep it under the rug, is insane because it's clear here who committed the crime. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. Send me videos if you see crazy videos like this and put them in the comments so I can check them out. Maybe we'll talk about them on the channel. Talk about our rights, how to deal with it. The bottom line is, Stay calm in the face of these criminals. Don't, tr don't reach for anything that could look like a gun, even if you're going for your camera. If you see a cop roll around the corner, the camera goes on before they ever get there. That should be your rule number one so that you have evidence of their crimes. But be careful because even if you're doing nothing, even though this guy was like getting out of his car, he was doing what I would do like, oh, these police are probably gonna harass me. I'm gonna get out of my car and move back to my door, to my property, so I'm more in control of the situation. All right, you guys, I think we've covered it. Let me know what you wanna see next and we'll see you next time. Peace.